What's up, what's up? Welcome back to the HSD Nation, where you'll get the best information. Trucking related, load boards, car hauling, flatbed, and drive-in. But, nope, this isn't my what I'm doing yet video. This is going to tell you how to book the freight. So, I want to show you guys why a lot of people are having problems. So, it's really tight right now, but normally what I'm getting ready to show you will work every time. And right now it works too. But, so what I did is I got my house or Wilmington, Delaware, right, going anywhere in the country because I don't care where I go. The further away I can get, the better off I am, you know, chasing the money. So, this is truckstop.com. Um, and we'll put a link in the description. And the other one we use is Trucker's Edge DAT. We will have a link in the description for that also. They both, uh, I use them both because they both have really good things. So, let's start out over here at the load board. So, as you can see, I'm just looking at whatever. Right? I got Delaware to Ohio, 334 mile. I got 566 a mile, 1900 going to Mass. That's not too bad right now, but it's not, um, that's a normal rate for going up there. Two grand all day. Um, like these here, 1500 miles on 374, or 1500 on 374 miles. So, this is a full day run. This is a day run. This is a load Monday morning, deliver Tuesday morning load. This one right here. Alright, pick some moment thing, goes to middle field. You say, well, hot shot's only 374 miles. By the time you get loaded, or maybe you're loaded the day before, but why, by the time you drive all the way up there, you'll get there with flatbed. They're probably closed because we're looking at flatbeds right now. Flatbeds are not like driving in at 24-7. So, you've ran 1,500 miles. Yeah, you have four, 401 a mile. Now, if you can unload and be gone by 9 o'clock and have your other load booked, won't be too bad. If they keep you till noon, if you whether you come in late or they hold you up, if you're not done this load by noon, you might as well count that 1500 as a two-day pay. So, you can't always look at the best price per mile. And I'm going to show you that right now. Here, we got 60, 60, 76 um, cents per mile, $76 per mile, 45 32 25 Some of these are really good, but like... Uh, this one here, I'm pretty sure Holbrook's on the island. It's on Long Island. So, that's a two-day run. All day long. That's why they're paying you for that. You know what I mean? That is the reason they're paying it. But, also, look. It's five containers. So, you're going to run five loads. Well, you're going to run ten times back and forth a hundred miles. So, you'll do a thousand miles. Two sixty a mile. No, thank you. These here, um, these are also containers. Four 40-foot containers. See, so they're playing games with these load boards. Because they know guys just come up here and shoot for price per mile. And they believe what they see. So, you can't go by that. But now, let's say we know what's realistic. And, you know, we come down to, uh... See what this one is. 136 strap and go. So that's oversized. 800 on 107. That's good money. But you, I'm not doing it. No way. So here's what I do. Like, you look at these high price per mile. Low money. Low money. You know what I mean? You can, you can go all the way down to $8 a mile. And you're running 190 miles. But... It's not how far you go compared to how long it takes you. Right? So, now we're going to go up here and we're going to hit rate. 
they say, show me the money. Right, so now I got a Baltimore to San Leandro, California. Tractor supplies in two parts, small tractor, trick with trick with blah, blah, blah. twick required self load emodal. I'm not self loading nothing. But now that's the tractors if you've done it before you can. So it's two drops. First one's in West Virginia. But it's uh, 2,800 miles. So that drop doesn't bother you. Because you could be in West Virginia the next day. So let's say you pick up Monday. You do all your picking. Do what you got to do. Drive to West Virginia and park. Do your reset. Then you can load. You can hammer down. You can do that nine grand in four days. Maybe five. You should be able to load Monday morning. Be in California Friday morning, unload, reload, door reset, and get popping. So, that's where you have to look at this here. Like, I would rather run for 3.30 a mile. I would rather run that than run one of those short day runs for 1500 you know, or you can, you know, go down to where it's less miles and do that. You know, it's just going to be less money. You get down here into the four and the fives. So now we're looking at 3,600, 1,600. So that's three days. Or you can go up here. You got four. Well, that's a dollar forty in a mile. You ain't running that. <clears throat> but see this here. See that there. This is where they want you hot shots. That's what they're doing to the hot shots, guys. Like it's a cabin chassis. It's a truck. Like yeah, I can fit two of them on my truck also. But it's not who they're targeting. They're targeting a hot shot with this. So, when you ain't running that, you know, you can just see how they play the game and play the game, you know. So, it's just all about going through them. But what I do, I start right at the top, work my way down. Now, sometimes you got to look at what's realistic. So, it might not be realistic for you to run a 5,000 mile. You may come down here and let's say you found a $4,000 load paying three fifty a mile. It's 1,100 miles. It's two days. Four grand. Done. Bing, bam, boom. That's Buchanan. They, uh, they've got money. Like, they are a good... If you're doing flatbed step deck, get signed on with them guys. ASAP. Go down to these. You know, you just go through them and see what they all are. This one here, it's a coil. You need your twig and an escort. Or you have to have your SCAC. So, you guys see what's going on here. But now, why are these so low compared to price of fuel is so high? That's where we come to DAT. So, these are the March 9th reports. We got here. So, flatbed. Flatty flatbed. This red, hot, hot, hot. These blue areas, you got to stay out of. Like, you do not want to be there. But all these red ones, tight, hot capacity. You can get paid. You can get paid. But, I hate to tell you, they also lied to you. So... You can see all these, right? You can see where it's hot. But, you come over here, it's not... Oh, sorry. Boom. Come over here, it's not paying like it's hot. So, that's when we come over here. So now, you got Alabama. Alabama's on fire. Fire! Arizona. Let's look at Arizona again. See, they've got most of Arizona red, right? But, nah. So 
So most of Arizona is red. Lord have mercy. I'll figure this guy's out in a minute, guys. Hold on. <laughs> Work with me, baby. It's not against me. now we're over here so like Arizona there's 667 loads going in there's only 60 oh duh come on brah come on brah Try this again same thing though 720 going in 389 going out you got as twice as many trucks delivering than coming out. Alabama. It's harder to get in, but it's better to get out. Do you know what I mean? California. 1,400 going in, only 863 coming out. And, and most of that's a hot zone. So you've got to be careful with what we're looking at here. Like Connecticut. Let's look at Connecticut on here. Connecticut's hot. You see that? That says it's hot. Boom. 503 out. 273 in. Colorado. What are they talking about? Cali Rado. So, they're saying other than the top corner, this is all hot. But these numbers, what's currently on the board, says otherwise. And now this here, looking at my, looking at mine. Delaware, there's 73 coming out, 132 going in. I don't want to go there. And when I'm looking at these numbers, I'm getting concerned on some of them. Not all of them, but some of them. Illinois, Indiana, Ohio. I don't care what time of the year it is if you can get there get your butt there indiana illinois ohio and i will tell you a lot of those are going to be rvs and trucks but whatever um like pennsylvania's got more coming in than out oregon's popping right now washington's popping right now that's because nobody's going up there west virginia is pretty close to even wyoming wisconsin like, these are pretty close to even, but when you see, when you see more in than out, that's, like, don't go to Utah. You ain't getting no money coming out of Utah. You know what I mean? So, you guys get, if you don't have DAT, it's worth just this right here. Um, use this to do a lot of your uh, looking and researching. And I really, I don't really care where I go too much. Um, I'll go anywhere because even though what I'm telling you is this here, because I don't have a destination in mind, I can literally follow the money. You know what I mean? Like, if you're going to Illinois, you know you got to come back east. Well, that's where you don't want to go to Illinois. You want to get yourself in one of these zones. But I know I'm going anywhere. Everywhere. You know what I mean? So it's not a big deal. So, you guys, a lot of people are taking the wrong freight. They are taking <clears throat> the high rate per mile. You've got to have a good rate per mile, especially right now. Like, I was at a dollar per mile for fuel. That is not why I got out of the business. I've been working on getting out for six months. And I'm not out of the business. I'm just out of the truck. Um, we will have a video coming up on what I am doing, and it's going to help a lot of people, I think. So, that's today's video on the rates, um, what's going on. Let's, uh, while we're here, we'll give you some other stuff. This is the reefer report. <clears throat> doo -doo -doo -doo. See, now you can see reefers all over the place. Idaho, always got taters. 
I, I don't know why I feel like there's good taters up in this area, but it's always blue. So, Reefer is more hit and miss. You know what I mean? Like build a lane, and that's where you go. Because the spot meters, we are 2022. So we they started the year up here, and they're going down. See how everybody else started, went down, and come back up? Well, we are, if we followed 2020, we'll be good. If not, we're in trouble. So let's, um, look at that on the flatbed. I want to see what that one did. Like, boom, we're shooting right. So we're, we stayed plateau a little longer than normal and then we dropped normally we just come out and go but we came out dropped and boom 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 that's the load the trucks there's more trucks than loads that's the spot rates so all right guys like i said there's more than one way to skin a cat find a way that works best for you um drive in Drive in looks like you want to stay out of the west, but you got to do your search. Like, I know a lot of cross country drive vans. I don't believe this for one minute. I'm not going to do the report or do the, the check in, but you can check it out, see what you think. Drive in's been coming down, load the truck since day one, and uh, rates are about to stay the same. So, all right, guys. That's uh, this dispatching video. I hope it works for you. Um, pretty much showed you what you need to know. If uh, you guys want a tutorial on one in depth or both in depth, put it in the comments. Let me know what you think. Let me know if you need it. Like, share, subscribe. Hit the notification bell so you know when we go live, drop bombs and come back to you. Like, share, subscribe, and I will hit see you tomorrow. Peace.